What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. Today we're going to be talking about how to get Mutt, Mutt Master Pat Tillman up to a 99 overall. Many of you guys have already been a Mutt Master for a while and last year we had uh, some of the similar things happening where we were just like waiting for them to make us use the additional collectibles that you get from doing Mutt Master because you can both complete it offline and online. All right, so I'm going to go right here through the missions tab and we're going to go and look for um, where's Mutt Master? Uh, right here. So we are 100% complete. Okay, so pretty much what happens is when you went through all of this and, um, you know, you did the passing yards, you did all this stuff, um, you know, the sacks, all these kind of stuff, you also had the additional ability to go and do it through stars and ultimate challenges. So many of us were able to get additional collectibles that we just have sitting around forever. Let me know if you were a Mutt Master, first of all, and were you a Mutt Master last year? And do you remember that they gave us the collectibles to use later on to like get free uh, free players and coins or whatever at the end of the year? It was really, really not the ideal situation, but that's what happened. At least this year, they're giving us something earlier uh, to kind of, you know, utilize those collectibles. So that pretty much you can find under the Mutt Dedication Missions tab. If you have not already completed Mutt Master, you can go and read it. The instructions are very, very simple. You get 250K coins uh, for completing Mutt Master. It's a lot of other things you get uh, throughout the process and then you also have the mutt master stats where you can go through and do all of these things with pat tillman keep in mind it doesn't matter the level of pat tillman that you have as long as you're doing these things with pat tillman it will register all right so that's pretty much how we were able to get all the collectibles that we're going to be using right now another good thing that ea sports has done is they've allowed you guys to be able to use training if you cannot if like if you don't have the collectibles or if you didn't do uh both parts offline and online to get the additional collectibles you can now just use training points now it's not really that good of a deal because it's 18,000 training points but if you wanted to complete it and you only did the Mutt Master Pat Tillman one way you'll see these two options obviously we're going to use the token because the token is free and we got it uh, from doing our you know doing it offline and online so that go that goes ahead and gets them up to this level and then again you're going to have a 95 overall token that you should have if you did it both ways remember if you only did it offline you will not have additional collectibles i want to point that out because i get guys asking well you know bro how did you do that how did you get additional to like, no i didn't do anything crazy i just did it both ways i grinded inside of the challenges and i also did online uh with the wins required uh to get uh Mutt master pat tillman so you can do it both ways and this is the benefit for having it and doing it both ways now with Mutt master pat tillman i really don't know um you know pretty much how we're going to be able to utilize him unless we take the abilities off of um you know, Taylor Mays, who was a 99 speed with a crazy acceleration, uh, it probably would not make much sense. But one of the things that you're going to have to do immediately is you're going to have to refund the times three and give him times four because he's now a 99 overall. Don't forget this. Um, sometimes I do and you guys remind me, shout out to you guys uh, that remind me about that. But make sure that you're looking at those things and you understand uh, what's going to, you know, what you should be doing and how it's supposed to work out. Now, he can be switched to free safety. But we can check right now if he would be a 99, but still with that being the way that it is, I don't know if you want to replace Sean Taylor, even though, okay, Sean Taylor is also a 97 speed, you know, at free safety. So it is something you could possibly do um, if you wanted to. Now, let's just look at some of the other tier abilities that he has. Does he unlock everything? No, these still aren't unlocked. So what is going on? Because he's a 99, so um ea what is happening all right what i thought that the final tier when you get to a 99 it was automatic i guess it's not um i don't understand how that works then because it doesn't seem to make much sense unless those things are not supposed to be there it, it kind of made us think that we would be eligible to get it at some point if it's in the box once they reach 99 i guess this is no longer the case um it is what it is so the good thing about this card though you get to get universal coverage um, at a tier one, which is very, very ideal because now, you know, Lurker and Enforcer, you know, that that's a no brainer with him if you wanted to utilize him in that fashion. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to back out and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Um, you know, he being a 99 overall. And also we don't, I, do we have a bit, oh, we left the abilities on Sean Taylor. We just didn't take it off. All right. That's fine. We're not going to worry about it. I think I may have done 
a uh, similar thing because I forgot to actually get his stuff back. But I just want you to see something with Sean Taylor, right? He's a 97 speed also with a 96 XL, all right? So when you go and take a look at this, also understand if you were to switch Pat Tillman to free safety, he would be a 95 overall. Also note that as well because you can always just go to the card and see, you know, what it's going to be and everything like that. Um, you know, pretty much with the way it works out. Now, I could tell you this right now. I can I can say, look, you could just not play Sean Taylor right now and see what Tillman can do because that 97 hit power, we should be able to chem that to a 99. Um, we're going to have to go ahead and look at some of the things that we can do. But I just wanted to point out 97 speed, 96 acceleration. All right. Now, when we go back to Pat Tillman, we, you know, we can see if it kind of makes sense to do anything like that. Like, would it make sense to move him over there? Like, what, what are we doing right now? He only has a 93 Excel. So, you know, the possibility of him doing whatever he wants is kind of weird because he might get dominated. But if you look at his pursuit, his play wreck and his tackle, that may be you know like that might be extra glitchy with cheese like i'm not going to sit up here and say that it might not be um but obviously if you're going to play him over sean taylor you would definitely need lurker because if you don't have lurker dudes are not going to jump anywhere but you know again he is a 99 overall card i'm assuming that that hit power might be glitchy enough to just without any enforcer or anything going on cause fumbles but that's something else that we're also going to have to test out to kind of make sure that you know, it's ideal for us, especially with the way that our defenses are going. If your defense is set right now and you have Taylor Mays, you know what? The way that they have it set up right there where you can't see the actual boost, it's not doing Taylor Mays any justice. So let's go over uh, this way right here so that you guys can see it like for really what he is. You know, that way it doesn't look kind of weird. Um, you're talking about a 99 speed, 98 Excel player. I know his tackle's not as good. I know his play rec is not as good. His man coverage, whatever. I know his zone coverage is, they're probably about the same. He has a 96 hit power. Okay, that's cool. All that stuff is good. The issue is this though. The tackle, the play rec, and the pursuit for Pat Tillman. Is that going to be glitchy enough for us to say, you know what? We need to go ahead and start getting rid of players because the lack of speed may be an issue. Not guaranteed to be an issue, but it could possibly be an issue. And that's what I'm trying to prevent with you guys right now because if that turns out to be something that affects us in the gameplay, um, where he's actually making those tackles and he's actually doing those things, Sean Taylor might have to get benched, bro. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, listen, y'all love me some Sean Taylor, but I gotta win, bro. Like, if EA made it so that he now pursues and his play wreck and his tackle is that much more of an impact, we're gonna have to make the decision to go ahead and sit people. Now, will I utilize him in the game to test it out? Yes. But I don't feel comfortable right now, um, you know, taking the abilities off of Maze and giving it to Pat Tillman. What I would do right now to actually test it out is to actually have Pat Tillman play instead of Sean Taylor, right? And then we would see by just, you know, the way he plays without abilities what the deal is. But remember, if we, it, it all depends, bro, because we could just use Pat Tillman and see what's going on with his play rec and all that stuff and see if they made him extra glitchy. But I think you get the most benefit by not usering him. You see what I'm saying? Because if you don't use him and you let the CPU just run wild, we'll be able to see realistically what he does. If he's our user, the tackle, the play recognition, the pursuit, you're not really getting the full impact because you're usering the player. So you know what I'm saying? So like your pursuit is your pursuit, not the CPUs. Your play rec is the play rec. The tackle, you know, most of us are gonna make conservative tackles. Even with that 99 tackle, I'm pretty sure, you know, you know, Brian Westbrook is gonna, gonna stiff arm him in the throat and he's gonna run for six, whatever. But it would serve us no purpose to make him be our user. I wanna point that out. So the proper way to test him out would actually be to let the CPU do it. Now, if you if you don't have abilities on your user, you're, you're doing it wrong. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, with that being the case, I wouldn't really play around with it too much. I would just definitely keep the abilities activated on Taylor Mays. And yeah, I forgot to take everything off Sean Taylor because I think it was going to be temporarily while I was trying out uh, my new scheme and the way that I've been doing it. So let me point that out to you guys as well, uh, you know, before I let you guys go, what's been going on. So I left his abilities, but he's not activated. We have Julius Peppers, we have Jadavion Clowney, and then we have Taylor Mays. All right. 
realistically speaking, I think Pat Tillman, we're gonna start him because he's the same speed and he has all these different boosted green stats and it may turn out that he's actually really, really better than Sean Taylor is right now. We have to check that out. Um, for the time being though, Julius Peppers, let me go ahead and show you guys what we did with Julius Peppers. Now, we took off the abilities of Kevin Green because for some reason, Julius Peppers just plays better. All right, like I don't know what else to tell you about, he just plays better. Even though he's slower, he just plays better. It, it, I, I have nothing else to say about it. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but again, he just plays absolutely better. That is it, 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 it is what it is. Hold on, when does he unlock these? He unlocks those at, uh, oh, 98 overall, okay. Um, pretty much that's what we, you know, we decided to do. I wanna point out that pass rush elite is all you need. Um, the run stopper on Jadavion Clowney makes him a beast on one side, but again, Julius Peppers just plays out of his mind. I have no idea how he does what he's doing. It doesn't really matter. Also, we have the benefit of being able to keep him in as a D tackle in our uh, double A gap. So he actually benefits us in so many other ways. Now, with the enforcer, we I don't know what EA did to the game, but earlier when we were putting Enforcer on our regular D lineman, it had no impact. Now, if he shoots the gap, remember, with the exception of the quarterback, if he hits the running back, the guy's running the ball, whatever's going on, and he hit sticks the, um, the running back, they get that animation with the Enforcer, and I've picked up fumbles and ran it back for six. So Enforcer is something that you're gonna wanna use and uh, utilize and pass rush elite. Reach Elite is always good because obviously it's a glitch. You can read it. The ability to tackle and sack while engaged with blockers. So pretty much you're getting blocked and you're running through the blocker. Like your arm is physically going through them and you're making tackles. No brainer. You got to have that on them. But one of the biggest things that I wanted to point out was that I definitely would recommend Enforcer. Some of you guys have seen it because I streamed and showed it to you guys. But um, just making sure everybody's aware of what's going on actively that I would highly recommend uh, that you have that Enforcer action going on. All right. Now, uh, uh, as far as that goes, then we have Jadavion Clowney, okay? Now, with Jadavion Clowney, like I said, the thing that makes him really, really outrageous is Run Stopper being a tier one ability, all right? Now, we could actually change his card art because I think they patched it. Yeah, they patched it. Okay, so um, how much was this? All right, so we don't need to, yeah, we'll just add this on um, and put this back. That, that they actually patched it so you guys can now see um, the one that was supposed to be there. Before it was just an imaginary card. Now you can see it. All right, so look, run stopper being tier one is wild. I'm gonna explain to you guys why. You have a lot of people that try to run outside runs, um, inside runs, whatever, but the run stopper is all of them combined. So if he reads a run to the inside, you know, eye tight, all that stuff. I don't know if you guys are running that run defense where the guy comes in and hit the quarterback in the backfield, but regardless of what it is, if you're not running that defense, this, this run stopper ability is really, really good because no matter how you set him up, he instantly sheds for the most part. Now, people have been IDing him and double teaming him and pretty much keeping him out the play, but he still somehow gets off. The only thing that really affects him, to be honest, is if you run a screenplay and the linemen automatically chop block him. That's been the only thing, but that happens with every card. Um, and the only the only way to avoid the chop block, uh, the chop block is to actually strafe, like right before the guy's trying to engage, and then you just wait there. If you let the CPU do it, they'll automatically turn into a chop block, the guy will flop all over the place, and that'll be it, it'll be a wrap. All right, so just be very, very careful with that as you go along, and I think you guys will be fine. All right, so run stopper is ideal. I would 100% make sure you guys understand that. And like these defensive tips will win you games guaranteed. I'm just letting you guys know that. Next thing, Pass Rush Elite. It, like I said, it's one of the most valuable things in the game. You visibly see that they're making moves at the quarterback. They get that, you know, instant step. It's a lot faster and um, it just it just plays out better. It's finesse move and, uh, you know, what is that? Um, the edge threat uh, combined. So it really, really wor it works out good. And then obviously Enforcer. So pretty much what we do is we set it up on both sides in the 3-4 where we have two enforcers and then we kind of clean up with one safety now because so many people are running the ball because everybody is looking at new different, you know, different ways to do it. And you have to be able to try to get the ball back as many times as possible. So with those two guys on the front, the front lines, we know that the, whatever side Jadavion Clowney is on, he's good with the run game because it takes like two to three uh, two to three guys to actually engage with him to stop him from what he's doing so he's fine on that side and then Julius Peppers just gets glitchy on the other side so it works out for us uh, very very well so this is my biggest issue 
uh, on why I think, like again, with the way I'm showing you guys the way the defense is set up, we should not like put abilities on Pat Tillman simply because he has all those green ratings, all right? And we have to see for ourselves visibly that he is ready to go. Like we have to be able to see, does all of these things matter? Because we'll be able to tell right away. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we won't be able to see it. We will be able to see exactly what's going on. Now, I know you guys see that his uh, his play, his uh, card art just changed. It'll go back, it's fine. Um, but again, he has high enough zone coverage. His pursuit, it may be glitchy, especially when dudes come out running those post routes. If you have him like in a, a deep third and just let the CPU play it, I'm very, very interested to see how he plays it. And then also with his hit power being 97 in green, I'm very, very interested in that as well. So we can kind of figure it out. I'm gonna go ahead and do some lab tests, some lab runs with him and see how he is. But with two enforcers uh, on the front lines and then I have Taylor Mays as my user. And then on top of that, we got another player that's gonna hit, you know, just knock your block off. Now, remember Sean Taylor is also very, very interesting because he has a high hit power as well. And he often gets those animations. Now, I'm not gonna guarantee you that Sean Taylor without abilities is gonna be the same exact thing. But I'm telling you right now, it's a reason that EA gave Pat Tillman the 99s in these sections. Because they wanted to make it appealing, but they couldn't give him the 99 speed. You know what I'm saying? Because if you give him the 99 speed, you take away from other players that may be coming or what they're planning to release. And then it's like, we're giving these guys a free player. We can't be, you know, we can't be making money like this. It don't make no sense. So remember this though, that 96 hit power with Sean Taylor when he's out there, that's the that's a real deal thing right there. You know what I'm saying? Like the dude gets animations without his abilities being activated. So just so that you understand that, Pat Tillman should also, with the click offs, the computer should automatically go for hit sticks or you can set your um, your coaching strategy for the players to go for hit sticks. You see what I'm saying? Because now it's a chance that you might miss the tackle, but there's a huge chance that the dude's gonna fumble the ball if they do connect. And then that way you kind of forego uh, having to use enforcer. So that's also very, very um, good to use if that's something that you would, you know, if you were interested in doing that. All right, so that's the, you know, those are just some of the things that I wanted to point out. But we have to find out if those 99s in green mean anything, because if they do, you know, it's gonna be a, okay, his awareness, his awareness is 99 also. So he has to play. My man has to play out there. The tackle, we already know. Um, we Yeah, he has to play. Pursuit, we know. Play recognition, we know. Um, yeah, yeah, he's going to have to 98 stamina, so he'll never come out the game. Hit power 97. Yeah, this guy's. we're going to have to give him a, a dry run and see what he does. But I would urge you guys to go ahead and power him up, get him up to his full potential, and then, you know, test him out without abilities. And let's see how the CPU works it. And then we'll just pretty much go from there. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you guys are staying safe during this time. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time, possibly very, very soon on a Twitch stream at G Myers World. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have a great one. One love, y'all.